Hello, this is going to be a general love reading for, who am I doing next? Leo. This is going to be for Leo. So if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All my readings are timeless. I do upload by the sign every month, so, but they are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Um, I usually go by my top three views for the month. So it went Libra, got the top views, and then Leo, and then Cancer. So you guys are going to be my top three for the month of April. If you are a past subscriber, welcome back. I got a new light. My daddy bought me a light. So that way you guys can see the cards better. But I am. <laughs> I have to get used to it. I feel like it's glaring in my face and it's... It's like, it's it's really bright and it's really in my face and it's making me a little bit self-conscious, but at the same time, it's, you know, making me put on my big girl pants and face my fears of being seen. So, <laughs> uh, um, that's a good thing. My dad is one of the biggest supporters of my channel and he just buys me things for it and I don't ask him to. He just does, which is so awesome. So, yeah, I guess I'm kind of a daddy's girl. Um, he also bought me a microphone, and so I've been using that, and it's awesome, you guys. So I have this big bright light in my face and this giant microphone, like, this big, and it's so funny, and it feels so professional and so cool. Okay, <laughs> so let me get that out of the way. All right, so Leo, we're going to jump right in. I have my Romance Angels. I have a new deck by this wonderful creator on Etsy. Um, she goes by, oh, you can't see it right there. It's a lot, it's, it's too bright. It's called... Shit. Bodhi Tarot. Okay. And then I have this deck that I just sort of hand wrote on. It's a Marilyn Monroe deck. Um, it's a spirit deck that I created. I have my Who deck by um, V Love Tarot. I did the deck review on that. I love this deck. I love it. Can I just say that again? Okay. And then I have my Rider Waite. So without further ado, we go going to give you a reading, Leo. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to start out with the Rider Waits. Oh, let me let me use the bell to clear the energy real quick, okay? All right. So I just um, had to use the bell to clear the energy. All right. We are reading now for Leo. What does Leo need to know for their highest good spirit guides about their love life right now? Now, if you guys like the angel readings, then let me know in the comments down below because I did those last month for my top three as like a little bonus um, for the top three views. So if you guys want me to do that again this month, just you know put it in the comment section below. If, if I don't see any comments about it, I'm just going to stop it. So I'm going to assume y'all thought it was jank or something. Okay. All right, Leo, eight cards for Leo, please. Eight cards for Leo. Whoa, okay. Woo, we got some emperor energy here. Who is coming in for you, Leo? Wow, sexy. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I get excited because I'm Leo too, so. <laughs> All right, so we have... Seven of Wands. What else we got? Whoa. That one almost. Hey. I mean, that's good. It's the Ten of Pentacles, which is like money. But we're not doing a money reading. So, well, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it's a good card to get. It really is. It's it's the card of like, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's a card of like, fuck. It's a card of creating a legacy, you know, a family legacy. So this would be your kids having kids and their kids having kids and kids and kids and kids and kids. And y'all just have a, create a family lineage together. But we got the tower right after that. And you know what's crazy? I did a personal reading for myself today and I got the tower today. I got the tower today. The ace of cups just flew out. Okay, Leo. I'm going to panic, and I'm going to tell you to get the hell out of my house right now. I'm, I'm going to panic. I'm going to panic. I'm going to panic. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just going to take a deep breath because I did a reading today for a client. <laughs> I kind of hope he's not going to watch this video, but if he watches it, he's going to know what I'm talking about. So I did a reading for a client today and um, I got the same two cards for this person. It, literally in the same order, I think. It was, oh no, it was, well, almost, it was Ace of Cups and then the Tower. And so I was like, how the fuck did this happen for Leo? Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to set that aside because that was a side energy card. It flew out and you know what I call side energy cards, right? They're cards that fly out on their own and I don't know if I'm going to take them yet. Um, depending on if I feel they are related to the energy in front of me. So, I'm going to put the Ace of Cups aside. And I'm not going to freak out about it. And I'm not going to tell Leo to get the hell out of my house yet. Oh, sweet Jesus. We have the fucking chariot. So, we have Cancerian energy. The chariot is Cancer, right? Cancer energy. It's a Cancer sign. But it's also... Someone who has very strong desires, but oh my god! One, two, three, four. We have four major arcanas already, Leo. Oh my god, Leo. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Didn't you? Um, I love you, Leo. <laughs> I love you, Leo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being an asshole today. Okay, hold on. One more card for Leo, please. Last one for Leo, please. Last card for Leo. Oh my God, I'm done. I'm scared. I'm scared, Leo. I'm a little scared. Okay. Let me see a deep breath. Namaste. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo. Look, we're not going to panic. We're not going to panic yet, Leo. So, we have the Two of Cups. And that's that's all. And we have the Two of Cups and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay? Um, I'm not nervous at all. Alright, I'm a little nervous. Okay, okay. So, let me just focus and read this energy. So, we have the Emperor, which is the energy of a divine masculine type energy force which rules with a iron hand okay it is king energy it's someone who is a ruler type energy they um they rule with an iron fist i mean it's a it's a good energy right it's the energy of stability the emperor to me represents stability um, we have the seven of wands, which is this energy of being on top of your game. You've fought off a lot of bad shit, Leo, in regards to your love life. Look at that. You fought all of this bad stuff off in regards to your love life. But yet, look at you. You're still out on top. You still came out on top. You didn't let that shit let you down. You were just like, you know what? Fine. You want to act like that, I'm still going to stay up here on my perch where I belong. You never let anyone's um, opinions of you or anything like that bring you down. You still stayed up in your high vibe and you fought all of that negativity off. And because of that, look, we have this great energy of like a... Um, abundance and a legacy like I said a family legacy being created for you with someone <sighs> okay so we had the tower that came out right now everyone gets really scared of this card because it's two people and they're falling out of a building and it looks really scary the fucking building's on fire and like the people are like oh people are dying okay so the thing about the tower is if it is some kind of um, natural disaster that happens, there's always the potential to rebuild something better than was there. Usually the tower happens because it needs to happen because for some reason or another, you cannot bring in anything new without destroying the old. That's how the universe works. 
It goes, okay, I'm going to wreck all of this, but I'm going to give you something better. So um, if that happens, there's always a chance for, there. there is going to be something better, always. But here's the thing. The tower came out with the Ace of Cups, and I just spit on myself because I was so excited about this card. So the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, um, can you see that shit there? So that's this is where the saying, my cup overflows, comes from. Because the Ace of Cups, in a love reading, represents a new relationship. But not just a new relationship, it also represents... A new relationship being given to you from the hands of source God. Look, there's God's hands. It's peaceful. It's loving. It's everything that you want it to be. It is the coup de gru of relationships, right? Which brings me to the next card, which is this. I mean, this is the last card that came out. Okay, so the two of cups is divine union. I'm getting ahead of myself, though. When the ace of cups comes out with the tower... This happens to be like, boom, boom, boom. That's how this new relationship is going to come in. It's going to come in fast and it's going to come in hard and it's going to knock everyone involved on their ass because generally the tower, when it comes out with the Ace of Cups, it's instant attraction. It's like, I look at you and I, there's bam, it's like a spark. It feels like that. It's like, when I look at you, oh my gosh. My, you know, I get bubble guts, I start getting butterflies, my heart starts speeding up, and I cannot think of anything other than putting my lips on yours. This, that's the energy coming from the tower with the Ace of Cups. It's like instant obsession, <laughs> right? And Leos are very good at being obsessed, but people are very good at being obsessed with Leos too, because Leos are, you know, pretty awesome. I should know, I'm just kidding. Okay, so... The energy of the chariot, which is what came out next, right? The By the way, the Ace of Cups was a side energy card, which just flew out. So the chariot is about conflicting desires. We have white and, and black, and this represents, you know, um, duality. Um, it represents, you know, the light and dark. Um, it represents paradoxes. Mostly it represents control. So it represents great desire, but it also represents someone that is strong enough to rein in their desire and hold it back. So Leo, whoever this person is, I feel like they have not come forward again, yet again, we're in this energy because the chariot is the energy of someone that they had these wild abandoned horses inside of them, right? I mean, look, it's usually the chariot is two horses and there's a man that's holding on to the, the, the horses trying to rein them in, right? And he's controlling them. So this person has like this wild, like these wild horses inside of them, this desire to just like, ooh, like full speed ahead. But they're holding on to that desire very tightly with a rein. They're holding on to those horses' reins. So they have not let that desire be shown yet. They have very good self-control. And that's irritating. <laughs> All right. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This represents fate, turn of events, completion of cycles. Feels like, honestly, Leo, you have completed a lot of damn cycles in this cycle right now. You've completed a lot of cycles in regards to your love life, in regards to your um just life in general you have went through a lot of lessons and you've learned a lot and because of that the wheel is turning also fate is on your side you planted some seeds earlier i don't know what they were you will know what they were leo this is seven of pentacles it's about planting seeds so feels to me like you were trying to manifest this person you were trying to manifest a love and it's coming in. And look at what came out next. Those seeds that you planted were heard by the universe. You put them in your vortex and you said, this is the type of person I would like. And bam, there it is. There's your two of cups. Two of cups, ace of cups, that tower moment. Uh, emperor energy, the energy of someone who can control themselves very well. The two of cups is about two people 
completely compatible with each other. The Two of Cups is the famous twin flame, twin soul card. It's um, also the card of divine union, a divinely guided spiritual union. See why I was nervous? Okay, so we're going to do some, let's, what card should we do next? Let's, let's do this one, my spirit messages one, okay? Ooh, doggy. This reading just got real interesting really quick. All right, what do we got for Leo? I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes and we're already like 15.33 in. So let's wrap it up. Let's get it going. All right, reading now for Leo. What do we got for Leo, please? Oh my God, what the freaking hell? 15 cards came out. <laughs> okay. We ain't taking all those cards, Spirit, just so you know. Four. Ooh. Okay, so we have brown eyes. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. Your person probably has brown eyes. Moving. Oh, my God. So some of these wheels are going to be moving. Hallelujah, finally. <laughs> Y'all know I've been trying to move out of this this place forever dude i've been saving and saving and saving and saving and working my butt off so if y'all want to donate to my moving fund please just give me a big chunk of cash because i'm trying to get out of here i live with my baby daddy and my ex he's my ex-husband but i'm trying to move out of here um we've been divorced for almost two years now and i want to get the hell out of here y'all oh asleep oh my goodness so for some of you, your person is not awakened yet. They are asleep. Okay. Or it could mean, you know, that they're, they sleep a lot. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So we have brown eyes moving. We have asleep. And I put it in quotations like that because I wanted it to mean like your person is, is not awakened. They are they are, they haven't went through a spiritual awakening yet. They're still asleep, okay? And then we have charismatic. Ooh. You know how hard it is. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Awakened. So you might be awakened, your person might be asleep, or vice versa. Take it out resonates. Either way, charismatic may, means that they are like they're they would be someone who's very charming um, and able to draw people in. All right, um, what should we do next? Let's do some Romance Angels, and then we'll do the new Bodhi Tarot deck that I have. <clears throat> um, and then we'll end with the Who deck. Why am I having so much trouble shuffling each deck today? It's so weird. It's like the energy is crazy. Okay. Every sign so far. I did Libra, because Libra was the most used. And then I did Leo. I'm doing Leo. And then Cancer's next. So Cancer. is Y'all were my top three. And then from there I'll just do whatever I feel guided to. Probably Taurus. Taurus has been... There's been some Tauruses asking me for Taurus reading. Okay, so we have Make the Effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Take them steps, Leo. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know... Oh. One card just flew out. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So we have make the efforts. Heart to heart conversations. Time for someone to come and discuss their feelings. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You can't make it up. What is happening here? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Leo. One more card for Leo. So we have trust. Um, the universe is saying, do you trust me? Do you trust me to bring in your perfect match? Do you? One more. Because the other one was just a side one. Okay. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. Right here. Mm hmm Last one, and we have, it is safe for you to love. 
Open your hearts to give and receive the highest energy of all. The highest energy of all is love, right? In order to receive that, you're going to have to trust the universe. My beautiful Leos. All right, let's do the Hudak and then we'll end with the Bodhi Tarot. What do we got for Leo? This reading is already getting over 20 minutes. I wanted to keep it under. So let's wrap it up, please, spirits. Let's get through. Well, what did I get for Libra? I think I got four from the Who deck. All right, for Leo, what do we got? Four character traits for Leo's person. Thank you, spirit guides. This is a beautiful reading. Ooh, narcissistic. That's not good. Jeez. Okay. Stuff just flying all over. Okay, one last card. We're going to get four cards out, please, spirits. Down to earth. Okay. So we have the first card that we got was narcissistic. So let's hope that this isn't your person, Leo, because I cannot see any Leo lasting very long with a narcissistic person. Me personally, I have, ooh, it's just 2121 on my camera. I have had a lot of experience with narcissistic relationships in my past, and I will never go back there again. So, you know, this could be, yes, you've dealt with narcissistic people in your past, right? But you know how to recognize that energy now, Leo. So now you know when it comes up what to do. You have experience with it, okay? We have full body. Ooh, so somebody's a little bit curvy. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of curves. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, baby. All right. <laughs> and then we have confidence. Ooh, look at that. And it's a lion. So I don't know, maybe it's another confident Leo, who knows? And then we also have down to earth. So confidence, down to earth are two very beautiful traits to have in a partner, okay? I'm toasty. All right, we're gonna end with the Bodhi Tarot. And look, she has a full body, but she's not fat. She's just curvy. You know, that's exactly how my body is. Oh my God, look what's on the bottom of this deck. It says medium or dark hair. And then it says 20s. Faya sign. I don't know why I felt guided to pull those, but I did. Okay, so let's go ahead and read from the Bodhi Tarot, and then we're going to be done. What do we got for Leo, please? Hmm. Whoa. You are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. Aw, that's so beautiful, Leo. Okay, two more cards for Leo. So there's that one. It says you are abundant in all areas of life because love is influencing your decisions. The next card says a soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned important lessons. You will now attract healthy relationships into your life. That is so funny. I did a personal reading for myself the first day that I got this deck. And that was the first card that I pulled. And I was like, yes, I hate them damn soul contracts. I'll rip them the fuck up. So there you go. Okay, last one. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the one that says a soul contract has been fulfilled. You've learned important lessons. You will now attract healthy relationships into your life. And the last card I pulled for Leo, a twin flame connection is in or entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. So, if someone new has entered your life, my dear Leo, <laughs> it's probably your twin soul or twin flame. So, congratulations. It's about fucking time, huh, Leo? Y'all, I know y'all, some of y'all Leos, this has been a long time coming for Leos, honestly. Like, all every love reading I've done for Leo, Leo has not had any great loves. They've not had any anything. So, and Libra too. Libra just got the same card. So, you know... I'm just putting that out there. Okay, so 
if you want to purchase a reading for me, then, you know, all you have to do is click on the description box. There's a little arrow and it pops up all my prices. Please check out my son's channel. He's linked in my description box. My Etsy shop is in my description box. Um, let's see what else. My Lemurian love deck is half off. It went from 50 to 25. So if you like mermaids and you like love, pick up that deck, y'all. Let's see what else. It's free to like and subscribe and to share my channel. If you want to tip me, please do. You guys are my, I'm my, I'm, this is my only job. You guys are my bread and butter. So I appreciate every little, um, reading, every tip, all of it. I, I appreciate every single, everything. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. So if you found this reading, you found it for a reason. All of my readings are timeless. Oh, let me say thank you to all my Patreons. My Patreon channel is just, it's, you know, <laughs> it's growing, it's growing, and I love you guys. So I will be uploading again your sexual energy reads for April. I love you. Bye.